Hi everyone, this is Michelle Stelling from the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers and this is Q&A Tuesday and this question, it's not going to be done in Photoshop Elements. Well, it is going to be done in Photoshop Elements, but there's a little plug-in and I can show you where you can get it for free. It's called Perfect Effects and I will show you how you can get these really cool HDR effects. Now, Anne from Sydney, Australia noticed in one of my classes that one of my photos was really high intense and um, so I just wanted to kind of let her know how I achieved that look. So if you notice here on the left hand side it's there's no effect on this and on the right hand side you can see there's great detail and it just kind of gives it that little spark let me just kind of zoom in a little bit closer so you can kind of see here the one on the right is a little bit brighter and more effective and I can't even think of the word right now it's just very intense so let me show you how I created that look um, let's bring up a photo let's do the same photo just so that we have um, we can I can show you how this works this is the after effect here now notice how all these little pieces in here are really vibrant and there's a place that you can go on the web just type in perfect effects free trial or free and it should be somewhere found on the internet let me just go ahead and open up the beginning photo and this one's kind of like blah it's really kind of muted and it doesn't have that spark that the other one did so what I did with this particular photo is I went ahead into and I installed that perfect effects um, within my Photoshop elements and I go into great detail inside the membership area if you want to if you're a member just go in there and just look for the HDR class and I show you exactly how to do that so right now it's in my automated tools and I'm going to go down to where it says perfect effects that's where you'll find it and then it brings up this whole other pop-up box and sometimes it takes a little bit of time to um, open up especially when you have so many programs like I do open uh, at the same time I probably should have shut down some of them but it might take a little bit of time to open up and it's going to kind of look like a different program but let's see here there we go okay so now it'll bring up that photo in there and then on the left hand side and on the right hand side you're going to see different things that you can adjust I usually go straight to the left hand side and I'm going to go down to where it says HDR now there's so many different options in here it'll make your head spin and I'm going to make it a really surreal edges just so you can see I think there is one called surreal here it is so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna go ahead and take my photo that I just created and really make it pop now you can do a hundred different effects to this like if you come in here and if maybe if you want to put a border on that you can add a border I'm not going to go into all the details because I've got a 45 minute session inside the members only area that you can go ahead and take a look at and then I'm just going to go ahead and click on apply actually let's go back in there I don't know if it applied that surreal look let's make sure that that surreal look is there so we can take it back into Photoshop elements there you go and then I can go ahead and, and add that to it and then I can go ahead and then add that border if I wanted to on top of that so I just click this add right here and then I can go back in and add the border as well as that effect so I'm going to click on apply it goes through the process could take a few seconds for it to adhere to that photo and then it should pop it back right into Photoshop elements so that you can add text or you can um, probably take down the opacity just a little bit as well okay there we have it if you want to take down the opacity you can take down the opacity but I'm going to keep it at full blast and I think this picture looks a little bit more vibrant well a lot more vibrant than this one so you can turn off and on those layers and I'm going to zoom in a little bit even closer just so you can see the effect this is the before and this is after much better I think I love this HDR effect and it just takes a few seconds to get if you are interested in becoming a member we have some great specials um, go ahead and email me at info at naods.com be sure to go over this way I believe and like us on Facebook 
And also, we have a YouTube channel, too, so you can subscribe to it there as well. If you are a member and you are curious about where this class, if I go, I'm going to go into much, much more detail, just go ahead in and log in using your username and password, and I'll show you exactly where you can find that. Click on here, and this is where all the classes are. Um, inside the membership area, just scroll down and it says how to create Shutterfly books and HDR photos. So if you go in and click on that, it's going to go into about a half an hour of showing you how to use perfect effects and you will be amazed at all the cool things that you can do with that program. All right, thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time on Q&A Tuesday. Bye-bye.